You know, we haven't actually seen Minnesota stretch too deep so far, but on the far side, there's a completely wide open wind chill. He's gonna get found, he's gonna get sent to, and he's gonna score! And you saw it before Indianapolis saw it for sure. And that was a great cross field hammer. Mays are gonna piece of the backhand, and it was incredibly kept alive by Sean Canole. Mazur could have sworn he had the D alive and then a tight space throw for Kerr. How about the first block of the night for Chris Mazur and it doesn't even go as a block. Kerr with his beautiful forehand connecting with Miller deep. I mean that. Is this New York team is on pace to have the fewest turnovers in a game in AUDL history. Could this be the third turn? No. A honing missile on that bomb from Ryan Osgaard of Ben Yacht. Beautiful timing between Osgaard and Yacht. And it reminds you, you sometimes forget that he's a two-time MVP. A lot of what he did for his assist. Start this second quarter. They've had about five, six minutes to rest. John Canole, deep backhand. Jordan Kerr, chased by Valley, and Kerr's got it. The fans enjoyed seeing that shot from John Canole. Was wondering when Canole was gonna send one to the house, and look, Charlie Hoppus did say before the game, Empire had their best practice of the year on Wednesday. Deep shot, gonna be caught by Healy. Awkward, deep look. And oh my goodness, Ben Katz rejects it, and Healy unable to catch the ricochet. And that was just an awkward looking sequence from the Breeze. He knows what you're gonna throw before you decide to throw it. And he read the play very well, and got up before the throw went off, and that's just what he does. He's crafty, he finds ways to make plays even when out of position. Side throw, sharp throw, oh my goodness, coming out of nowhere there with a big time rejection, Oliver Bay and Matt Smith coming back. But I believe a timeout was called. Oliver Bay, are you serious? At every way that someone can get open, it's pick your poison as how you decide, as how you try to force him out, because then you know he's going to be too deep and Malk's going to be the one to find him as you mentioned with that chemistry. And it's a Callahan for David Bloodgood for the first breeze break of the night. Are you kidding me? How did that happen? If you're DC, you don't care about being good, you care about being lucky. It's better to be lucky than good in this instance, and I think we're going to have to watch the replay, but I'm going to guess Saul Rushmire Bailey thought that disc may have been out and deciding what to do with it, hesitated just a little bit. Back to Austin Taylor. Now around, inside, Hankey coming up with the big denial. It's going to be clean block there for Kyle Hankey. Just when that final score goes in, it's going to be jubilation for someone and just absolute defeat for the other team. This one, Danger's not able to handle it. His length in. Fitzgerald here with the dicks. This kind of pick it up quickly. Fly attack. Back around here to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald needs help. He's trying to point out traffic has to put it up around there in the end zone and that is the dagger in the game winner Austin wins it all 21 20 and advances to championship weekend for the first time here in franchise history Austin Taylor now looking for Matt Smith working it down the line that one is denied Matt Smith trying to tow it a great is back into the fray Haverfield connects what a play there from the Atlanta Hustle as they go up one. Oh, uh, great defensive play there from the soul. Matt Smith stays with the disc, gets himself a highlight play there. Wait for Haverfield to stay with it, knowing that might be coming. And that's just a 
wonderful.